tonight on The Big Idea. We're on the roadmap to the American dream, and you're barreling down a highway to millions. I love your product. Welcome to The Big Idea. I'm Donnie Deutsch, and we are, of course, on the roadmap to your American dream. Okay, whatever you're doing right now, do you love it? Does it make your heart flutter? Because if you don't love it, you need to open your mind to something new. It's something as simple as this. Go for your dream because the dream is doing what you love. And later, childhood obsessions become the stuff of millions. I know I'm supposed to be a grown-up, but this is like a child having a tea party every day, and that's basically what I do. Next, could the thing you loved most as a kid make you millions as an adult? I needed to have something to keep me entertained, so I started collecting teapots. Welcome back to The Big Idea. Okay, the most important thing you can do in life to ensure your happiness is to figure out what you're most passionate about. That one thing is your key to success in making millions, even if what you love is something as simple as tea. <laughs> The company, Tracy Stern Salon Tea. It's the product of a lifelong obsession by the company's namesake, Tracy Stern. She sells specialty teas, tea supplies, and even tea-inspired beauty products. And last year, brought in one and a half million dollars in sales, according to the company. Tracy Stern, founder of Tracy Stern Salon Tea. Welcome, Trace. Hi there. Nice to be here. Nice to have you. You said something very funny before we started rolling when we talked about loving what you do. You said, I play every day. <laughs> I do. It's, I know I'm supposed to be a grown-up, but this is like a child having a tea party every day, and that's basically what I do, except now that my business is global. It's, it's still as much fun, but I have that, I guess it's called in, interminable passion and it's just amazing. But the reason you love it is play for you is because it started with play as a kid. Yes. And less of a parents here. We're going to get to it in a second. What, as a kid, what was your fun thing to do? Um, I, I grew up, I had, I played, you know, the child tea party. And my parents were um, avid collectors of antiques. And they would travel Europe. And my mom had a store. She's actually an entrepreneur as well. And I would go with them. And I was beginning to, you know, be traveling everywhere, but I needed to have something to keep me entertained, so I started collecting teapots. Teacups, teapots, I've accumulated such a vast collection. By the time I was in high school, everyone said you should open a tea room with your whole collection. But I was an artist, you know, that's by trade and by passion, and then art history is my, what I went to school for. But I, all of that came together and created a lifestyle company that is called Salon Tea. And that's, that's me playing today. But, I, but that's amazing. Most people, and I think this is what I was going to say to parents, you know, if your kids are 9 or 10 or 12 or 8 or 6 or whatever age, look at what they're playing. Look at where they're, if they're into models or they're into photography, whatever. That could be their future careers because it's what they love. I love that you're saying this. Thank you. I do because you know what? As an artist, and that was my passion, I, you're always told to fall back on something. But my parents were so proud of what I did and they promoted me and they gave me the confidence and I knew that I could build a business on it. In fact, when they, everyone had high school jobs, I painted jeans and t-shirts and painted jean jackets and sold them for a fortune so it, I could be sitting on the beach the whole week while my friends were sitting doing day, you know, their day job. So you were lucky, you had parents who early on early saw on. you had a passion yes. and it wasn't like, okay, well that's great, you have a passion, but Go be an accountant. Yeah, please go go, like go get yeah. a business degree. Yeah, I mean that's not there's, that there's not anything, anything wrong, wrong with that. that if your kid if your kid's trading stocks at twelve, yes, then you you're onto something. But I think that's fascinating. And so your business, which I love, instead of taking tea as what it is, you turn tea into lifestyle. Tea yes, is lifestyle. I feel tea is products, but it's tea is beauty products. Tea inspired everything. And I think the sky's the limit. Obviously, tea is the next coffee. So it's wonderful. You're opening up your first actual store in Manhattan? Yes. Coming up, when is that happening? Uh, the fall of 2008. Okay. Uh, no, in the beginning of 2008. I think. But the reason you're here and you're such a shining example of you were a kid playing with your tea. I'm still a kid. Still a kid. Okay, yes. yeah. And that's the key to your success in business. Yes. You don't go to work every day, do you? Is it work? No. Okay. Any parallels? I want you to go back to when you were a six-year-old playing with tea and now a 24-year-old or whatever your age is playing with tea in business. Any parallels there? Absolutely. It's the culmination of bringing people together, and it's a form of socializing, and that was what I do now, 
and I'm involved philanthropically with different, um, with the artists. I help promote artists, and each one of my teas is actually named a character. So I have the, in the Salon Tea brand, you'll see the society hostess, the fashionable dandy, the writer, the musician, the lover, the romantic, the artist. So all of those together create a salon, and I'm bringing the modern day salon back from the 17th century today, where we, you know, we gather together, have a conversation. Good deal, Thank Tracy you. Stern. At Play, founder of Tracy Stern Salon Tea. We're back on the roadmap in just 120 seconds.